Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at inserting voice notes within Google Slides. So let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now in a previous video, I showed you Moat and how you can use it to insert feedback notes within Google Docs. Well, Moat will also allow us to insert voice notes within Google Slides. So let's have a look at what it looks like within Google Slides. Now here I have a Google Slides open and let's say that I want to give some feedback to my students about the design of their slide. So we're going to now insert a voice note. Now it works differently in Google Slides. With the extension installed, you will see there is an additional icon next to your present button, and that is the M for Moat. Now I will link to the extension in the description below, so you simply install it on your Chrome browser, and then you too will have access to this. So let's go ahead and click on the icon. We're going to click on the icon, and this will now welcome us to the new Moat for Google Slides. We're going to give some additional privileges because this update requires new permissions that it did not have when it was only running on Google Docs. So let's go ahead and click on next and we're going to give it permission. There we go. We're going to allow it to view the Google Slides and then we're going to give it that permission that it needs. Once you've done that, you can return to your Google Slides. Now, if it still doesn't work, make sure to just refresh your browser and then everything will be fine. We're going to click on the icon again and we can now start recording our modes. So let's go ahead and do that now. Great design. I absolutely love the color scheme. Maybe you can use a different background as well to break up all the white space. And then we click again to stop recording. We can listen back to our recording here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Great design. I okay, I like that recording. I'm now going to insert it into my Google Slides. Now, how does that work? Well, it's a simple click of a button. So once we click on insert, this file is uploaded to your Google Drive. It is stored on your Google Drive. It is now inserting this into your Google Slides and it gives you a suggested icon. Now at the moment we are using the default icon for Moat, but you can always click on replace to find another image that you would like to use for this icon. And as you can see, we have our note here. It is there. Students can click on play. Great it design. automatically plays back that voice note and we can move it anywhere we want on our canvas. This is incredibly easy to set up super easy to use. And as I mentioned in the previous video, you have access to up to 30 seconds of recording. Now, if you do get a premium account, you have a minute and a half, but those 30 seconds are great to get started and leave some voice notes on your slideshows. Now you can even use this to make your slides more accessible. Now you can use voice comments for all types of activities. You can use it for extension activities. Maybe you're adding voice notes to clarify some of the text, or maybe those voice notes are simply you reading out the text because the younger learners can't quite read it yet. This is incredibly useful and 30 seconds will be a great way to get started on leaving voice notes. Now, I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.